Om Namaste. Welcome to another ascension into the stillness with myself, Omaka, your leading guide and teacher for today's message. You are not full until you are empty. Today I want to guide you into the thrill of being empty. There's a specific journey that most of us take and it is the journey to discover why we are here. It is the journey to discover the very nature and why we were created and there is a specific journey to discover why we were put on this planet. For I want you to begin to use this abstention not as a meditation into the stillness but as a message a simple guidance into feeling the awareness of yourself and you can sit with this and close your eyes and be led or you could sit with this and just listen and allow it to take you into the very nature of being empty. This emptiness that we don't know of is a beautiful, a beautiful place to be after we have done most of our searching, after we have done most of the self-fulfillment act, going out into the world to acquire many things so that we could feel this purposeful sense of believing that we are full or we have met the momentary desires of our heart adding more unto ourselves as if placing more layers on top of yourself consciously and spiritually emotionally and physically and physiologically we buy into the notion that we are fulfilling such desires. We are filling up space. We are filling in the gaps. And what happens in these typical places and accumulating things is that we open up another space, another gap opens up we end up opening a another place within us that we seek to fulfill and you are truly not full because you always go out and get this such thing whatever it may be and you tend to believe that um, whatever the desires was, um, it is met. But quite frankly, the opposite happens. And the more you get, the emptier you feel. But I'm not asking you to go into this so that you feel empty. I'm asking you 
to go in, go into this so that you become empty. It's because the very nature of your being has no script to it. The very nature of your being has no manual to it. The very nature of your being has no no book that you read in order to take the necessary steps and the necessary journey in order to fulfill such a desire. So we become full when we become empty. And we must empty ourselves on a daily practice. It is the getting up every single day without a desire to feel something that is missing because the truth is that there is nothing missing. For you was well orchestrated and you was well knit together and you are stitched together without any missing link to you. And so you lose the idea first of thinking that more and more and more is equivalent to fulfilling a desire. But more and more and more opens up more desires. The more you reach for and you get and you acquire, the more you mire. Mire is a word for being stuck. And the more you acquire, the more you mire, you become stuck in your own virtual existence. And you get caught up in the loop. And the loop begins to spin you further and further and further into a whirlpool of confusion. Because you thought that getting something, acquiring something, was going to meet that need. And I am asking you, pointing you, directing you, and guiding you to the place of empty that when you become empty when you truly desire to desire no thing you are filled with all things you are filled with everything and all those things that you become filled with although you don't have to sift through them to see which belongs to you what belongs to you you don't have to sift through those things the things that don't belong will simply cease to not engage your being. The things that do belong when you are being still in emptiness, those things will fill the void and fill the spaces and fill the gaps. And thus you will be met with every need that you desire or every need that needs to be fulfilled. And so, the more you, you, you seek to be no thing or nothing, the more you seek to become empty, the more you become filled with all of those things that your beingness already knows it needs and quite frankly, already has. And so, you just have to be still in this knowing that you don't need more, you need less. You don't need to have, you need to have not. And society in the world has given you this, this drive to execute in order to fulfill. And so what you must end up doing is, as I said earlier, wake up knowing that you are already filled with every single thing you need and that what you don't need will not apply itself. And so in retrospect, we take the things that we think we need and we apply it. And what we realize is that we are jumping over hurdles daily, 
running toward a finish line that um, doesn't exist and you continue on running and you continue chasing trying to fulfill this this void and you just become weaker and weaker and weaker in being because you thought that what you was desiring was going to fill that quest or that that longing but it doesn't fill it and so you leave the things that you once desired just leave them leave them to be what they are and don't seek to put on you more just let those things be and you yourself will find yourself in the stillness being already fulfilled being already met with every single desire you ever had so we must be still in our absence get away from retreat from the belief that we need more and retreat to the space that is already filled the gap that is already filled the void that is already filled the void is filled with everything the void is filled with all those things that you desire and if you trust this if you work out this in order to believe more about this daily as you practice it when you wake and when you go to sleep all of your knowing will come into your conscious and you will exist there every day you will awaken there daily be well